and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon here on Game of Travis. Okay, so we've obviously made some mistakes uh, in the past, and that's okay. We're, we learn from them. So we're going to start off by doing some contract work. I like to go ahead and do that right away. Uh, accept the contract, library software. Go ahead and do that. Okay. Okay, and yeah, Vinny has announced they will release a new gaming console right out of the gate here. In two months, the Vinny Oasis comes with a 16-bit graphics and sound which promises a new kind of gaming experience. I think we're going to develop for that. Uh, said the announcement, the Oasis is a new start and will be the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles and we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it will appeal to a much well, to a more mature audience. Okay, looks like money has been deducted from my accounts from before. Okay, when well, we're doing some contract work. There we go. Unfortunately, the deadline is here. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, we're starting off poorly now. All right. Okay, so let's just go ahead. I mean, let's we'll have to develop a new game. Uh, let's see here. Actually, hang on. I before we get that far, let's go ahead. I want to research a different topic. Let's do that now. This time, let's just do sports. That sounds like it'd be kind of fun. We could also publish sports games, develop and publish them. Oh boy, crap, crap, crap. Starting off badly here. You have successfully researched that. Let's just make a game and let's just hope that everything's going to be all right so let's just go and do a sports title naturally of course is sports there's action pick a platform let's just develop for i guess well hold on yeah just go ahead let's, well sports titles really don't appeal too much i guess but let's just give it a chance. Let's see what happens. Of course, we use a star stream engine and we'll just call this. Um, God in football. <laughs> Why not? OK. And obviously it's for everyone. Yes, we're going to use that. All right. Unfortunately, you are bankrupt. Game is over. We have just oh damn! Right out of the gates. Xbox person like trust. Oh no! We are very excited to have acquired the rights to all of our games. Hearing the news, many fans of GOT games have expressed their disappointment. This is the end of your journey. You have either load. You can either load a save game or restart this level. Let's just fucking start over. Because like I said, we've made some mistakes. And after the first level, I mean the first episode, I should say, we really did, you know, I did make some pretty bad mistakes. So let's just go ahead and make sure I'm a guy this time. And you know what? GOT is still going to be the name of our gaming company. And my name, let's have Durr. Um, we'll just call him Duh. Okay. You have played the game before. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. We've imported previously game hints. And yes, I want to import everything. All right. So we're starting over again, which is, again, fine. So first game. Well, first, let's pick a topic. Ooh, they kind of switched it up a little bit. We could do rhythm, fantasy, comedy, or aliens. Comedy, I don't know if it really works too well as a gaming genre itself. But then again, you had games back in the day like uh, Leisure Suit Larry. That was a funny series on PC. Let's try it. A comedy. Uh, let's just do an R comedy RPG. No, 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 no. Forget that, forget that, forget that. Since we're starting new, let's just do a fantasy RPG. We're gonna do it like it, we did before. Uh, we're going to start over with obviously first fantasy, if I can spell it. And we're going to do things just a little bit different this time. Now, 
let's go ahead and still develop for the G64. Obviously, we're doing 2D graphics. Let's not do text-based. That's kind of boring. Nobody likes that. All right. So, gameplay, we're going to move that up here. Engine, that's not too much of a... a pro, uh, it's not really that much of a requirement, so we're just going to bump that down right about there. Gameplay should be right here. Soaring Quest, that looks all right. And I feel really stupid, you know, because we we tried really hard, but I kept failing left and right. So the dialogues, that's like all the way up here. Level design, let's say right here is okay. AI, we're gonna leave you right about down here, right about there. All right. Let's see how this works. We're doing pretty well building everything. Next up, world design is questionable, but let's just keep it right here. Graphics, and sound, let's sound be right about here. Graphics, yeah, let's say that looks all right. Let's see what happens with this. Okay, so we're nearly finished here. All right, now I gotta work out them bugs. Get them bugs out of there. We don't want any bugs in our games. We're starting off fresh. All right, that looks all right. Ooh, bumped it up with technology. Good, all right. Let's see what we get here. New topic, new combo. So far, so good. Everything is leveling up. Well, it's just we're starting fresh. I don't know why I'm getting so excited. All right, let's release it. And we're gonna hope for the best here. All right. The first reviews of our newly released game, First Fantasy, came in. Let's see how we did this time around. It has its moments. Okay, has have seen better. It's our first game. Six, I like it. All right, thank you, Game Hero, for being honest. I got a seven. Fantasy and RPG is a great combination, obviously. All right, got uh, GOT. I just it says got games. We'll just whatever. A newcomer industry, favorable reviews, good starts. Let's see how we do financially with this. Not too bad in the first week. Yeah, made the charts at number 77. Was so successful, we now have 29 fans. Hey, you gotta start somewhere. Alrighty, so let's just go ahead and generate a game report. Let's go ahead and do that. Hey, the third week in sales, all right. Important milestone, yes it is, just like before. Made some pretty good cash here. Got some more research done. And here's a report of the game. Story quests seem to be very important for this type of a game. I do agree. So there we go. And let me see, can we do some research? Let's just go ahead and research a new topic. Let's just go ahead and do that right away. Um, Let's see how well we do with well expedition reminds me of Oregon Trail we all remember that game I don't know if we should go ahead and use that as another genre or going to exp uh, I can't get the words out of my mouth if we should if we should have researched that if we should try sci-fi school or crime these are different ones it looks like it's random every time you re replay the game so I'd say let's just do sci-fi that's pretty more that, that's a very much more, um, I can't get the words out today. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. It looks like it'd be very exciting. Okay, now let's just go ahead and, and finish the research for sci-fi. Sorry, we're done with that. Now let's develop a new game. And keep in mind, Excuse me. <laughs> Keep in mind, folks, we have to make sure we are making different games each and every time. All right. Now, if we did pretty good with the fantasy, let's just work on a sci fi game. This one is. I already clicked that. So, I think for the genre, we're going to choose. Let's see here. For sci fi, I think we should do. An, let's see. Should we do. We already did an RPG. So, let's just do an action game. Uh, also, going to develop for the G64. Let's see what we get. 
with this. All right, let's get to work. And First Fantasy is now off the market. Okay, Soaring Quests is questionable. Let's just say right about here. Gameplay, let's say that. And Engine. I don't know. Soaring Quest, let's just keep it right there. All right, okay, let's just. Gameplay is also pretty important in these action games. Let's keep it right there. Engine, all right, I think that's satisfactory, I think. All right, just keep going. Now, artificial intelligence. Let's see, right about here. That looks good. Dialogue's not that important, so we keep you here. Level design. I don't know. We'll keep it here. All right. Next. Recent market study suggests that the Govador 64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Blah, blah, blah. We know all this. I never had a Commodore 64. I had a VIC-20. I mean, folk, my family had a VIC-20, and that was a pretty cool little computer. You just connected right up to a TV set. It was nice. Um, world design. Sound. Okay. I think we'll probably keep world design kind of a uh, right about there it looks all right okay well, we didn't name it but that's fine because I didn't think of the name at the time I realized what I did but okay there we go working out the bugs getting more technology all right yeah we're gonna name the game trust me I know what I did so this one we're just gonna call Jupiter attacks. Why not? <laughs> All right, now we're just gonna click it here. It's gonna save it. All right. Okay, so release it. Let's see what happens. And let's see, the reviews are pouring in. I love when it's flashing 10. It actually gave me a little bit of some hope. Could have been better. Well, I'm trying. Got a seven, enjoyable. Nice. Got an 8. Action games work well on a G64. And a 7. Good game. Alright. So, Star Games is being a bit of a dick. Alright. And let's see how we're doing here. According to rumors, Japanese. Yeah, Nevento. Whatever. Dinky King. Yes, we know. We know. I'm making some pretty good cash here in this. Banking very well. Let's just generate a game report. Select. <coughs> All right. Nice, nice. Okay. Great. And let's just see what the report says. Sci-fi and action is a great combination. Artificial intelligence seems to be very important for this type of game. Dialogue's not to be very important. Okay, that's fine. So for every development or sci-fi action game, I'll keep that in my you know, keep that bee in my bonnet. So let's just keep going here. Now let's see. Um, let's do some more research, develop another topic. Hmm. I was hoping there'd be something else here. No, okay. I suppose we can try, well, for now, I just kind of like, let's not worry about that too soon. Let's just develop another game because we got to keep it for, keep it going. Uh, this time, all right, we'll do a comedy game. It's different, so let's just do it as a. Oh my gosh, I hate to just repeat myself over and over again. Try to remember what game uh, Leisure Suit Larry game was. I mean, it was a point and click, but that's not one of the options here. So, we're just do. You think maybe I should just go ahead and just research in our topic, just just for the hell of it. Let's do a crime game. There we go. Crime. Can we research that. We're doing pretty good in sales still. I mean, 178,000, 185,000. That's great. 
and it's falling off the charts, that's fine because, you know, yay, Nevento. Okay, we're gonna wait this time. We're gonna wait until we probably get to maybe around the 300,000 um, uh, total cash to 300,000. So, all right. So, we're going to pick, you know what? We're gonna choose Crime, it's a different game. You damn well know it's gonna be an action title. And again, we're gonna do this for the G64. And this one, uh, uh, let's see. Pigs in uniform. Because I said so. No, that's horrible. That's that's terrible. Um, uh, let's see. Police force all right that's probably not a great title but hey it says so right here great combo of crime and action so that's great uh 2d graphics away we go let's starting the development okay so story and quests we're gonna move it right here this time Everything else looks all right, but I just need to bump up the gameplay just a pinch. There we go. Engine right there. Okay. We don't know how this is going to turn out, guys, but trying my hardest. Okay, artificial intelligence through the roof here. Level designs all right. Dialogue's probably not that important, so we're going to move it down here. Poop it down there? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so far so good. And let's see. World design, and make you a little neutral. Sound, okay. Graphics, all right. There we go. Let's, hi, I'm Carolina Richards from the local news. I've heard rumors that you are already, you're already working on your next game and would love to do an interview about this. Do you have some time? Yes! If they actually ask you for an interview, you say yes because that's how you get publicity for your games. There. The interview should be published soon. Alright. So that's a very good sign. Got, uh, Got Games, a local startup, is trying to make it big in the gaming industry. The company has already published two games and is working hard on their next. And an interview founder, duh, said that the next game is going to be a crime action game. Something the company has not done before. It's great to see small local companies entering exciting new industries. All the best to luck. All the best of luck to God Games. Developing great game is not only the recipe for success; it is essential to build hype to ensure that players are excited about your game. In the beginning of the career, hype is mostly generated through random events, but once you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. Duh, no kidding. And Oh, we're already done. All right, let's get them bugs fixed. Ooh, hype at 11. Not bad for a start. Okay, there we go. Good. Ooh, we'll squeeze a little more out there. All right, so let's finish it. Let's see what we get next. New topic, new combo. Gameplay has leveled up. Level two. All right. And duh has leveled up. <laughs> Let's release it. Let's see what happens. The first review of our newly, I can't even talk, newly released game, Police Force, came in. Let's see how we did. It's okay. Ouch. Good. Yeah. Fun at stages. Somebody give me a little higher score than five. Has its moments. And then... A six so shows potential. All right. It's tough. I mean, it's tough to develop a new game. Especially, you know. Okay, it's released. That's nice. I'm so happy for an Invento. Hi there. I've just finished playing Police Force, and I'm impressed by your talent. Uh, okay, we've talked before, Jason. Yes, thank you so much. All right, let's go and generate a game report. And let me see. 
We're doing all right. We're doing okay. Okay. Post-release analyst uh, police force. Engine seems to be very important to this type of game. Okay, all right. And hopefully we will be able to develop a new engine here soon. All right. Do, let's see, find contract work. All right, we'll do this one. Game backdrops. Oh yeah, we're smoking it here. Uh, come on, you can work faster than that. Damn! Shit. I see that the contract was not complete in time. Be careful what contracts you accept, otherwise those penalties will add up pretty quickly. Don't worry too much, I don't hold grudges. If you want to try again, let me know. All right, well then, hell with that. So, let's just go ahead and develop another game. This time, let's see here. I'm not happy with having rhythm in here. I, I don't even know how that would even work unless you do like on modern consoles. So probably we'll develop that if we get to like to the PlayStation 2 era. Or possibly PlayStation 1. You know, it's hard to say. All right, let's do... <sighs> Aliens, I guess. Let's make that... Let's do a strategy game with aliens, you know? And we'll just call this uh, The People versus E.T. <laughs> Why not? And I don't want to develop for, the, uh, for that system just yet, so let's just... Wait a minute. Maybe we should make... I don't say simulation. No, I shouldn't do that. Oh, wait, I got a better idea. Hold on a second. I think, hold on a second. Well, I got a better idea. How about instead of doing that, go ahead and research another topic. I wish it was like a medical one. That would be great. There's no medical. Evolution? No, I don't think so. All right, never mind, never mind, never mind. Let's just go back, let's just develop you know, that game I promised. So let's just do the people versus E.T. <laughs> Sounds like it should be a law game. <laughs> so it should take place in a courtroom. Uh, all right, so let's just do aliens. Uh, let's just do strategy. Now, what platform is good with strategy? I don't know. I would do another RPG, but let's just try doing this. Oh. Mm. oh gosh, I don't know. This is kind of tough to choose. Simulation? I don't think so. We'll just do it as a strategy game. Let's see what happens. Okay. I'm hoping this won't flop. Okay, so this is going to be kind of tough to choose. So let's just say strategy game, stories and quests. That's going to have to be important. It's a strategy game. Gameplay, right there, engine. All right. Let's see what happens. You're experimenting. You're trying something different to see if it will work. And that's how you go about it. So AI, let's see here. Here. Dialogues, I think that would be kind of important for a strategy game. Level design as well. So, AI. We're going to leave AI just a little bit down here. Let's hope for the best. I, you know. Okay, police force is off the market. That's nice. Uh, sound, I think it's very important. World design is, however. Graphics. Graphics have to be... About there. So sound, we'll move sound down to right about there. All right. I'm hopeful this is going to work. All right. Now, got to get them bugs worked out. Get them out of my game. The more design. All right. Let's see what happens. Okay. Engine has been moved up. 
Okay, I think everything else is going to level up to, uh, to level 2. Alright. Okay. Let's release it. Crossing my fingers, guys. i never done this type of a game before, obviously. Whoa! There's some pretty good... Start out with some good numbers. Okay, strategy games work well in G64. Good. Shows potential. I'm always like, like right in the middle here. I don't like being in the middle. Falls a bit short. What about you down there? Not bad, not good. Well, I guess I'll have to take it. All right. So let's just generate a game report. Give me some feedback here. Ooh, the second week. Wow. The second week did pretty well. Nice. Got 351 fans, by the way. Well, all right, let's see how we did. Good combination. Okay, gameplay seems to be very important for this type of game. Platform, general, genre match, G64 strategy. Great. Nice. Oh, yeah, it's been a massive success, huh? All right. Hmm. Well, let me take a look here. All right, I really need to have a custom game engine, so let's make that right now. Because we want to make these games better. Make them awesome. Make them... Give somebody a brand new experience, an enhanced experience, basically. All right. Game tutorials and mono sound. Nice. And you successfully research a custom game engine. All right. Now with the uh, custom, create custom engine. All right, we're just gonna. I'm gonna call it something else. Um, mind blown. There we go. And that, that, that. Create engine. Now we can use that for other games here, obviously. I really wanted to develop for the uh, Nevento, I really do. But that's just going to have to wait until we get some more money. I'm being a little more cautious this time around. Alright, so let's try one more. I'm serious, I'm gonna make just one more game. I'm not gonna get greedy here. Okay, all that's been done. So, this time, well, we got enough research points. Let's just, make, you know, research another genre. Oh. And then again, let's do mono sound. That might hurt a little bit, but that's okay. Increasing variety of gaming devices also creates the market for. Specialized games. Okay. Target audience. That has been. Okay. Oop, he's still still doing some research down there. Okay. Good deal. All right. Now, also mentioned like game tutorials and target audience. That is going to have to totally wait now. Develop new game. Actually, let's go ahead and I want to find a different topic to research here. You know, I don't want to do a school game. That's boring. So, you know what? Just never mind. Okay, never mind. Let's get right to it. Now, the next one, we're going to develop. Let's go ahead and do another sci-fi game. Uh, obviously, we're going to do... Let's see. Sci-fi and action. Great combo. I want to develop for that so bad, but I don't have the money. Let's go back to the G64. It's been reliable. Mind blown. And this one... Uh... Why calm? 
There we go. Because there's XCOM, why not YCOM? Why not? Okay? Alright. Developing with that in mind, I know we're back in the red. I'm confident we'll be okay. Okay, follow massive success to the TS console. Venna, I know. Coming out with her own little wonderful. Okay. All right, we're going to move you right about here. Story and quests. Engine, you're right about here. That sounds okay. Gameplay. Okay. Leave it like that. Applying the engine. Okay. Artificial intelligence. Boom. There we go. Dialogue's not very important. Level design. We're going to keep. We're going to put you right here. All right. There. Okay, so far, so good. Um, keep the sound yeah, right here. World design, let's say you're around here. Graphics, we got to make it look good. All right. I'm hoping this is going to be fine. Okay, we didn't have too many bugs this time, just a couple. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Great about the Vanna, Master V, whatever. I never had a Sega Master System. I was all about Nintendo. Oh, got some new records. Good. 17. Doing all right, guys. I'm hoping this is going to sell a whole lot. And we're, let's release it. See what we get. Okay, game review. What do we have? Damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Here we go. That's more like it. <laughs> Good game. Yeah, action games work well on G64. I think we have a hit. Great. <laughs> we got a hit game, guys. Finally. It took two episodes. We got a hit game. Yes. Oh, Damn, damn. Oh, yeah, look at the money just pouring in. Let's just go and generate that game report. All right. Oh, yeah, buddy. This is more like it. Oh, great. And let's see. Post report analysis. World design seems to not be, it's not to be very important for this type of a game. All right. It's a surprise hit with players. The developer got games is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Ycom was successful. Oh man, we're making some damn good money here. Oh, we bounced back quickly, guys. Now, before we wrap up, let me do one more bit of research for this. We're gonna do target audience. Actually, yeah, target audience, that's very important. Let's research that. Plus, I want to go ahead and find another genre we can develop for. Oh, man, we're bringing in some serious cash. All right, yeah, all about the venue. Great. Whoops, we're not done yet. <laughs> hey, all right. You have successfully researched ta target audience. You know, that's a really good note to end this on. So, let's just go ahead for now. Let's just... Rest on our laurels. We did a great job. We did a hell of a be better job than we did the last time. Okay. Started out with a bummer. The game ended because, well, I am a total moron. Okay. I'm just, I'll, I'll admit to my mistakes. I screwed up, but things have gotten better. And we ended the second episode on a very high note. So, in the next episode, I'm hoping to develop a game for, for Nevento. Gonna have to buy that license. I don't think I'm gonna develop to the, on the Venya. I'm gonna probably wait till you know the Master V that is, but I'm gonna wait till the Venya Oasis to make games on that. But that's for the next time. I want you guys to do me a big ass favor. Yeah, big ass favor. I want, <laughs> I want you guys to go down and click that subscribe button you see down there and hit that bell notification. Okay, that's let you know new games, new games. Oh my gosh, I'm so stuck in thinking I'm a game developer. I'm not. When new videos have been released, 
And also, just leave your comments down below. Tell me what kind of game combinations you think would work in a situation like this. If you played uh, this game before, you know, what has worked for you. And, uh, you know, give me some pretty cool titles for some games that you'd like to see <laughs> if these games were to have been created in real life. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get out here. I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye.